<laughs> so more concrete work, doing a concrete landing and back. Uh, this part, this project goes swimmingly. I pour half, put the wire in, and then pour the final half. I gave it some thought to do a dry pour since it's about 20 bags here, but then I thought again. Just don't think that would be good. This pour almost works out too good for me. I use a big paintbrush to give it a final texture. My only thought now is protect it from the deer. Still, I had a situation with a deer that almost destroyed this work and almost put me in the emergency room. I get confidence and I skim coat the front pad that I poured in two parts, which was kind of odd looking, and it looks really great now. The PUD shows up to connect my power to the house. Just a real nice guy and did a real good job. Also, you can see here that I have a new aerator in my septic system. I had to buy the whole kit, which includes the aerator and the main control panel. $3,500. Just highway robbery. I want to dig post holes for a lean-to, and every spot I dig in has boulders left over by the Ice Age. This is partially beneath the pad that I poured from my future shop, which I'm just going to make into a lean-to right now, just to use temporarily. My electrician has been working on the rough-in, and I'm really pleased to this point. Of the four holes I dug, only one didn't have a major obstruction. Believe it or not, this will be the future shop of GS Tongs. I miss the gym. My workout now consists of moving wood and moving stones. I got really smart with moving logs and using a balancing point to help me move them around easier. So while the electrician is continuing his work, I do a little outdoor decorating. My drain line is directly under this log, so that'll help prevent it from getting crushed in the future. The electrical rough-in is done, and I'm happy. I can have an l and inspection now, and also the building department can come to inspect the mechanical and all framing, etc. If you decide to build other than the work that you plan to do yourself, I would tell you that you have to also function as a secretary. You have to make so many calls, line up so many people. So just be prepared for that part. Before my inspections, the insulation guy will do caulk and seal, so I've got to get ready for that. I almost can't believe how they have to seal a home nowadays, and he said that it's actually getting more and more complicated. No surprise there. But I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and that's what's keeping me going. I put a step in back, and I start to gravel in a pathway up front. At this time, I don't want to get another big load of soil or gravel, so I just go and scoop out my own. 
They charge $1 per 5-gallon bucket. It's a great deal. Because insulation will happen soon, so I do a catwalk up in the attic space. And I take a break while I'm there as well. I start thinking about and working on some of the bathroom, which has been a bit of a thorn. I'm a little beat up and a little tired, but I got a lot more fooling around to do.